Alright YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to flash a Hitachi 47 drive and the way you know what version you have you look at where it says ROM version and as it says right there 47 so this is a 47 then connectivity kit CK3 Pro then what you're going to have to download is this RAR file that I have right here you're going to want to download it. I'll put a link in the description. You're going to extract. Then you're going to have two files. Your iXtreme for your 47 drive and your original 47, which I'll explain in another video. So what you're going to want to do is open up your folder for Jungle Flasher. I'll also put a link for that in the description. You're going to want to go to Firmware. You're going to want to drag your iXtreme 47 file onto your former firmware folder. For me, I'm going to have to overwrite, but for you guys, it should just go in. Then, what you're going to want to do is go to your connectivity kit, which I suggest doing. Turn it on. Make sure it's not in vendor mode. It should open with the first push of the button. So now what you're going to want to do is going to open Jungle Flasher. Alright, now that we're in Jungle Flasher, you're going to want to go to the Hitachi section. You're going to want to look for your drive. Mine has already popped up. Hitachi Firmware 47. The first thing you're going to want to do is send to Mode B. And it says right there, you're about to send to Mode B command to your Hitachi drive. Open dra drive tray now, and then press OK. So basically what it's saying is, you're going to want to open your drive. So we're going to press the eject button, it's open, now we're going to press OK, and if everything went well, you should be able to open the Hitachi drive by pressing the eject button two times. Alright, so that was, that was two times, then one, two, closes, so we're in mode B. It might say no Hitachi drive found, but just go up here to the corner and press refresh. And now it says Hitachi found. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to dump drive and you're going to read to source. It's going to ask you a place to save it. Save it to your desktop or in my case, I'm in a little folder. We're going to save it there. Save your original firmware. Save. Yes. And it should say loading Hitachi dump to source buffer. That's good. It should have taken you to the firmware tool 32 tab. Firmware tool 32. You're going to want to press on save drive key. You're going to save it on your desktop or wherever you want. Just don't lose these files. Save. Yes. Alright, so you saved your key. In my case, I ended up with this. Now what you're going to want to do is open target firmware. You're going to go to jungle flasher. And you're going to click on your iExtreme 47 dot bin. Then you should always double check that it says vendor. Okay, let me try to give you guys a better view. That it says vendor mode. That the vendor model revision should match what you're going to flash onto. So Hitachi model revision it should all match except for the firmware type since we have a stock and we're going to be flashing iXtreme and you're going to notice that your DVD key is going to be different from the iXtreme.bin file so what you're going to want to do to fix that is you're going to want to go to spoof source to target 
and then you should see your DVD key. I like to do it a couple of times just to be sure. Now after that, we're going to go to Hitachi tab, and then you're going to click on Flash Eye Extreme. Then you're going to click Flash Eye Extreme. And it says flashing stability test report stable. Do you wish to continue? You're going to click on yes. And then you should be flashing. And flash complete. Congratulations. You just flashed a Hitachi 47. Now, what you can do is just exit out. And then to return your drive back to normal because it's still in mode B. As you can see, press 1, press 2, press 1, press 2. What you're going to want to do, then you're going to want to close it, and then when it gets halfway through, turn it off. Alright, so we shut it off. Now we just turn it back on, and then it should just close up with one press of a button. And then you've taken it out, out of mode B. And I'm out.